Good morning, my little science amigos. Today, I'm going to remind you how to build a parallel circuit and how to measure potential difference or voltage. Here we go. First, our basic circuit. Two cells wired up next to each other so you can check they're both pointing in the same direction. A switch and one lamp. And of course, if we press the switch, the lamp comes on. So dead simple series circuit start off with. I then have a lamp pre-prepared with two leads, another lamp pre-prepared with two leads, and a voltmeter. Note the clever colour coding. Green leads for the voltmeter, yellow leads for everything else, so try and stop us getting confused, and my trusty results table. So, first things first, setting up a parallel circuit, because your first circuit is going to be two cells and two lamps in parallel. All we do is we take our second lamp and... We double decker the leads from the first lamp. So now, when I press the switch, both lamps will come on. And it's a parallel circuit. We know this because if we follow the leads around, we can see the electrons, they flow through the leads, have got a choice. They can either go through lamp number one and then back to the cells, or they can go to lamp number two and back to the cells. So we have a parallel circuit. If we wanted to add a third lamp to our parallel circuit, which you will need to do in your parallel circuit number two, you simply plug the pre-prepared leads into lamp number two. So we double decker the leads here and then you'll have three lamps in parallel. Okay, measuring potential difference or voltage, exactly the same as last time. So we take our voltmeter with the green leads. If I want to measure the potential difference across cell number one, I just double decker the leads. And remember, we ignore that reading. We press the switch so the lamps come on and we take the reading that is 1.14 and we write it in our trusty results table that we drew before starting. Then we take the leads out, much easier with two hands. We want the potential difference of voltage across cell number two. So we double decker the leads, we press the switch, and we get a reading of one, uh, one, where's it going? Wiggle the leads. Okay, quick, uh, 1.22, there we go. U2, recorded in trusty results table, unplug the voltmeter, and then, really, it's kind of the same. So we want to measure the voltage across, ooh, ooh, because it gets confusing, doesn't it, with all the double-deckered leads. So if you want to measure the voltage across lamp number one, you simply triple-decker the leads this time. There we go. Press the switch so the lamp comes on, and then we can record our voltage in our results table. Just like last time, once you've recorded the voltages of all the components, I want you to add up so that we've got the totals in each column. The total input voltage from the cells and the total output voltage from the lamps, and it's those totals that we're comparing. All right, off you go. <laughs> 